Who would it be? <laughs> An Australian calling from Germany. Oh, my God. How could that be? I don't know. The world has gone crazy. It's upside down. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so, go ahead. Oh, so we were talking about uh, um, in high school... As a nerd, I would watch the popular kids, and, and, and though I was smarter than the, ner- the, the popular kids, they were much more powerful than I was because they had this way with people, way to communicate, kind of just mind meld on the teachers and the girls and, and everyone else. And so as I watched the popular kids, I realized that if I could learn to develop whatever it is that they're doing, that I would be a lot more powerful because I'd have my smart, nerdy stuff but be able to communicate with the humans like, like this guy does. So I started to try and befriend uh, the, the humans. The humans. Yeah. <laughs> I started to befriend this popular guy named Jeff, and I would, though it was a very awkward friendship because I was so quiet and introverted and nerdy, and he was so cool and popular, and he was just kind of a nice guy, so he'd let me tag along. And then what I would do is I would I would just kind of use my intuition and watch what principles he's using and kind of the body language he would use. And this is like at age 16 I was doing this. And so then when I finally first did, after months and months of kind of getting comfortable with how he works, I would then introduce myself to a new person. Yeah. So when I met somebody new, let's say this new person named Alice, I would pretend I was an I would pretend I was Jeff. I would pretend I was the popular kid. And she would never know the difference because she's never met me before. And it would work, and I would trick her. I would fool her. She would think that I was. How, how, how did you do that? I mean, how can you? you know what? How I, can I you change watched. your persona so I watched, easily? I watched and watched, and it was a lot. I took my strengths and I pitted them against my weaknesses. My weaknesses were being introverted and shy and, and not being able to work with people. But my strengths were being able to see patterns and things, see principles, to understand concepts, and to work hard at whatever it is that I'm working on, no, so, no, no matter how long it takes. So, so what, what aspects of the extrovert, you know, the popular guy, uh, did you take on? I mean, how, how do you do that? Um, I, 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 I really think that there needs to be a model. There needs to be somebody that you're, you're watching. So you're just, you're observing somebody else do it, and you just start to see the principles that they're using. You start to see that they're, they, they talk very freely, and, it's, and they don't care. That's the biggest thing, is mm. they don't care that they look like a goof or a clown. And that realism, somehow a connection is formed. <laughs> because and, they, because they, they don't come across as that if they right. don't care. Yeah. Right, right. And then right? also, if you make a mistake and you make a fool of yourself, mm-hmm. humor and laughter and jokes is something that just magically makes everything okay. So it washes can... it, washes it. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I started to introduce myself to people as this extroverted popular person, and it was, <laughs> it was very encouraging and exciting when they would... You didn't you know, use his name, though, did you? Uh, no. Hi, I'm, I'm Roger, cool guy. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> And so it started to work. So I, I started doing a lot more, and then um, I actually was able to start. Now that I was starting to become more funny and popular and stuff like that, I was actually able to hang around the popular kids more ah. because they started to view me as their own. So at that point, it really started to accelerate. And, and you became popular. It's fun. Yes, and it's funny that this guy Jeff that I met when I was—I uh, guess I met him when I was seventeen. He's still my best friend today. I talked to him. <laughs> This, this was the cool guy in high school. Yes, and he's literally, and, and you can see a picture of him on our homepage, on the About Us page. He's literally my, kind of my character consultant or my personality consultant. I, I talk to him all the time, like, Jeff, like, you know, how should I set up my jokes? How should I do this? Like, how should I? And really? he's always been advising me, uh, you know, for the past however many years to this day. Um, and so that's, you know, that's what we were, we were talking about earlier, like, the, uh, you know, the, the kind of, the, the knockoff RC shows on YouTube, you know, the knockoff RC Powers type shows where, you know, yeah. different guys are having planes and having a little internet show and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, great guys and great ideas, you know, because they're the nerds. They, they, they're very good with their stuff. But I kind of left, you know, Keith and I laugh because that's 1% of it. 99% of it is being Presentation. Funny the Presentation, the jokes, yeah. the body language, the humor, yeah. the editing, the, all that kind of stuff.
who would it be?